Hey guys, it's Zen Boro here again, and today I am reviewing a an older film that came out in 1941 called Maltese Falcon with Humphrey Bogart, Mary Astor, Sidney Greenstreet, and Peter Lorre. And um, it's my second time watching the movie, and it's just such a good film. Um, it's a detective story, and uh, I kind of grew up, well, not actually reading detec detec detective stories, but uh, just watching them. Like um, like those Looney Tunes uh, episodes where Daffy Duck was like a uh, detective, and he had this big magnifying glass, and he would look down at the floor and see these giant conspicuous footprints. Yeah, those type of detective stories, but that's that's not this film, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's just my earliest childhood memory. But um, this film is about a detective named Samuel Spade. He His partner, Archer, gets murdered early in the story, and Spade discovers that these criminals he is pursuing or who actually try to pursue him are searching for this statue this little bird statue called the Maltese Falcon and at the beginning of the film we're told that you know it's an ancient Knights Templar relic and got lost and all that so yeah that's the engine that drives the plot but the most interesting thing about this movie I think is just the interactions between all these characters like Spade and Bridget O'Shaughnessy, played by Mary Astor. She's kind of like, um, before this term got through, f uh, created, uh, this femme fatale, this, she's not, to me, she's not really that seductive in the story. Um, she's more, uh, nervous and kind of to herself and, always unsure of herself even though she's lying and you can kind of see it on her face which is a brilliant part a brilliant um brilliant on Mary Astor's part because uh, the acting here is really strong and if you just pay attention to how the actors um, like their faces and their body language um, you can gain a lot of information from just watching that. <clears throat> and I feel that sometimes in more modern films, especially mystery films, um, the stories are feel slightly weaker, and you never really get to explore, like, what are these characters? Like, who are they? For example, Sam Spade, we get a sense of who he is. He's a detective, but he's also um, he's also kind of greedy. And uh, I mentioned this in the written review. Uh, he just takes money wherever he can find it. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that was kind of funny because today, I guess, he could say he was like a psychopath or something. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Personally, I feel that he is sort of just as corrupt as the, the criminals that he uh, pursues. Again, he's a private detective, so he kind of goes by his own um, code, if you want to call it that. But um, he is the protagonist, and I think that's what makes him so interesting to watch. And also, Humphrey Bogart is just you know, very skillful. Um, he delivers lines and without a second thought. And I, I think that's part of like the strength of this film is, again, like I said, the acting. Um, as for the movie itself, like the plot and all that, 
I think this movie has a pretty good pace and um, it's only an hour and 40 minutes and I watched it on YouTube I just rented it two ninety nine. so and the YouTube rentals are like two hours so I would say I would highly recommend this film um, you don't need to be a film major to enjoy it you don't need these esoteric film theories in your head in order to understand it. It's simply an entertaining Pulp Fiction story. And yeah, that that's two thumbs up, the Maltese Falcon. Uh, even today with all these super loud, violent films or like these loud sounds that you hear that tell you like, oh, this character is really, uh, <clears throat> this character is really, uh, evil and blah, blah, blah. Like, this is a pretty subtle film, at least, at least to me. Uh, it moves quickly, and, uh, there are a few laughs in it, too. So, yeah, the Maltese Falcon, I give it a two thumbs up. And, uh, so, yeah. Make sure to check out all our other reviews at the Cinehorde, and I will see you next time at the movies.